Let's go back to the phone lines, talk to Caleb in Wichita, Kansas. Hi, Caleb. Hi. I was just recently engaged and recently found out that my fiance's brother is gay. And I was wondering how exactly I should handle this situation. I don't want to push him away any further than he already is, but I want to know how to bring him back. Just as you would anybody else, whether they are a homosexual sinner or a heterosexual sinner, what you do is you reach, you don't repel. You are equipped to use whatever opportunity you have as a springboard or an opportunity to share the truth and the love and the grace that only Jesus Christ can bring to the human heart. And you want to do that again with gentleness and with respect. But I would say this, that it's important to recognize in the full disclosure of coming out, that this is uh, coming out not in terms of identifying one's identity in a different way. This is not an identity. Ultimately, it's a behavior. And to couch it in any other terms is simply misleading for both the person or anybody who buys into the notion that this is an identity. Biology, not psychology, determines gender, and in most cases, biology is explicit. So I don't think that you want to buy into the idea that, well, they just came out with this identity as though uh, that is what it is. It is not an identity. It is a behavior. Homosexuality requires a person to contradict their own biology, and it's as though God plays some kind of a cruel joke on them by creating their minds and emotions for attraction to same-sex sexuality and creating their bodies in direct opposition to that attraction. That's not what God does. Okay. And I think there's a couple of things that are really helpful. One is a book written by Joe Dallas. It's called Desires and Conflict, available through the ministry. I think it'd be very helpful to you to read that book, particularly in this particular situation, so you could be most effective in your witness. But I mean, if I have a propensity towards adultery, giving into it is not saying, well, I have a particular identity. It means that I recognize it for it, what it is and recognize that God has set parameters around our lives so that our joy might be complete and therefore seeking help. And when you fall in whatever your propensity for sin is, is to confess your sin, knowing that he's faithful and just, that he will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we are all responsible to be careful not to act on those desires that may be sinful in nature.